It's funny how much musical theater experience I have from being a child, especially because I really don't like acting at all. Um, but that was a place that I could do music. And so that was why I got involved with musical theater, even though I really didn't like acting. I tried every time there was some kind of musical to get only the singing parts, the parts where you just come on for like one scene and you sing an amazing song and then you're off the whole rest of the time, which actually is a little bit annoying for rehearsals because they always make you come to all the rehearsals, even if you're not in all the scenes. And so I remember doing, you know, homework every single day just sitting there waiting for my scene to come up but um, I think I started out in church musicals that was a little easier because most people didn't have to act it was a lot of adults acting and I just got to sing the songs but then in seventh grade I was in Greece and I found the one role that doesn't involve acting which is the teen angel role yes in the movie it's Frankie Avalon it's a guy but I convinced the teacher that it could be a, a female teen angel. So I sang Beauty School Dropout, and that was all I did other than being in the chorus. And I loved it, it was so fun. Um, and you know, I became known as like the singer. The, my, my theater teacher would be like, it's the singer, you know, because that was what I was known for and I didn't ever want to do anything other than that. Um, and then, Let's see, I was in, also in high school, I was in Once Upon a Mattress. And again, I found the one role that didn't involve acting, which was being the mockingbird. And I was, I got to be on this swing that descended from the ceiling. And I just got to sing this ah! kind of thing. And like, I just sang for this whole scene. And I remember she, the girl, the Once Upon a Mattress, uh, princess girl she would just tell me to stop stop singing shut up stop singing and then I'd keep singing again and annoy her I think that was the whole scene um, but I only had to sing and it was fun because I would go behind the curtain and get on this like swing thing this like wooden platform with hand you know our um, chains and then they would like raise me up and I'd be like up in the rafters sitting on this thing and then the, the curtain would come up and I would come down and, and sing my part um, and then also I was involved in church musicals and again, I didn't want to act so I only had singing parts and that was when I got the opportunity to sing in front of 700 Marines at the Marine base and it was it was very interesting to see how they reacted to my singing because you know, they were super rowdy. They were oh, 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 all of that stuff, you know, and then when it came to my time to sing and my song was very contemplative and, and soft and I just started singing and they all got quiet. So that was kind of the moment that I was like, wow, music is powerful. I can have this kind of control over an audience, even 700 Marines. Like I felt super powerful and excited to continue exploring that in my music career at that point when I was uh, I think I was 17 when I did that and that really launched me into my future as a music major and then becoming a touring musician.